Hello and welcome to section 2, SAP HANA use cases. In the last section, we established HANA as an in-memory database and we saw how it was fundamentally different from a traditional database. We also saw how HANA could be super fast and how it could reduce the TCO, the data footprint and provide real-time reporting for the customers. Now HANA can be much more than just a database. In this section, we will explore the different use cases of HANA. Our first use case is SAP HANA as an Agile Data Mart. Let's first try to understand what is a Data Mart. Data Mart generally means that it is a repository where information is gathered from different transactional systems. Once it is gathered, then a semantic layer is created on top of it and then the information users use this information to create different reports and use that for various other reasons. In an Agile Data Mart, what we should keep in mind is the data which we provision from the source systems is from an application level of a transaction database or a data warehouse. We bring in the semantic knowledge of the source system, therefore we reduce the modeling effort and we see structure in the data. What we see here in the slide is data is gathered from SAP Business Suite and it's not gathered from the database itself. So however data is residing on the database, but there is a lot of application semantics which have been applied at the business suite level. So the data is gathered from the business suite into the HANA database using DXC or and data services. Data services is the ETL tool and DXC is a special purpose tool. If you see below, we use the same logic and we bring in the data from an SAP business warehouse using DXC and DS. So once data is brought in from these two source systems, then you can collate this information and you can build models and later on provision to the BI tools. So this is what we do in an Agile Data Mart. Now naturally what we see here is SAP systems. Now what we should keep in mind is we can bring in data from different other non-SAP systems as well and that's how we can expand this use case. 